Well, hey there. My name is Caleb Carmichael. I'm the student pastor here at North Fort Worth Baptist Church. And I just wanted to say thank you for letting your student come to summer camp with us this year. It's going to be an amazing week, June 13th through the 17th. And I know that God is really going to work in the lives of our students. Every year, I try to keep our parents informed about what's going on, where their students need to be, what they're going to be doing, what they need to bring, any rules and things like that. But I know that you're crazy busy. And so instead of having a formal meeting where we get together after church and take up an hour of your time, I thought I would send you this short video going through everything that you need to know about summer camp. If you have any questions that I don't answer here, please feel free to reach out to me. You can email me right here at this email address. It's Caleb Carmichael at NorthFortWorth.com and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. There are a few things that you need to have before we can take off on June 13th. The first one is a signed and notarized medical release form. Now this form is good for all events at our church throughout the year. So if your student was a part of Elevate Weekend, um, they probably already have this filled out. But I need to make sure that you have this release form and it does need to be signed and notarized. That is the one thing about this form that you need to make sure that you have. The next form that you need to have is a Riverbend release form. This is basically a permission slip for the camp that we're going to that says that your student has permission to be there. Um, with this form, we do need a copy of your insurance card. It's kind of in the small print at the bottom, so it's easy to miss. So if you haven't um, made a copy of your insurance card, please do that, or you can scan it and email it to me and I'll get it attached to the proper paperwork. Another thing you need to notice about this form that's pretty easy to miss is that there's a section right here in the middle that says, um, I allow my camper to take the following medications at camp. Now this is things like Advil and Tylenol, um, Pepto-Bismol if they get a stomach ache, things like that that you want your camper to be allowed to have by the camp nurse. Now you have to circle the items that you want your student to be able to take. Now if you show up and none of those items are circled and your student has a really bad headache, um, they're not going to be able to give them anything by law. So make sure um, that you get those things circled. If you've already turned your forms in and you haven't done that, um, you can do that and when you check your student in before we leave. Our theme for camp this year is no fear and we're going to be looking at Psalm 118 specifically verse 6 and it's going to be a great thing for our students to learn because the world throws us a lot of things that we should be afraid of and there really are some serious fears that our students might have when it comes to their future but with God is on our side we don't have to be afraid so I'm really excited this year um, for our theme. Chris Clayton Band is going to be back leading worship. Our students loved having them last year. They really connected with them in worship, so I'm excited that they're going to be back again this year. And our speaker is a guy named John Woogie, and that's kind of his nickname, but he does a great job of connecting with students and engaging with them where they're at in their lives. It should be a phenomenal camp for our students. We have a bunch of fun activities planned. There's a dodgeball tournament, a basketball tournament. They're bringing in um, a Moto X and, and bike, BMX bike stunt team. Um, there's gonna have, students are going to have so much fun. And then there's the usuals at camp. There's the blob and the zip line and rec games and the pool and all of those fun things that make camp the best week of the summer. Now there are a few things that you need to make sure your student brings to camp. And the first one I would say is a good attitude. Nothing can make or break your experience at camp like having a good or a bad attitude. So encourage your student to be excited and to go into everything, willing to participate and have a great time. And I promise it will be an amazing week for them. The next thing that they need to bring is a Bible and then a notebook and something to take notes in and a pen. So a Bible is very important. We also have these notebooks that we can give to your students that they can take notes in. If they have their own um, notebook that they have, they can bring that along to make sure they remember everything that they're taught this week. Another important thing to remember is bedding. When we go to camp, um, we stay on bunk beds that have just a, a mattress on them, but there are no sheets or blankets or pillows or anything like that. So your student needs to either bring um, a set of twin sheets and a blanket or a sleeping bag and then make sure they bring a pillow as well so that they're comfortable um, sleeping at night. They also need to bring a towel. I would recommend bringing two towels, one to shower with and yes, we are going to make those 7th and 8th grade boys shower, right? And another is to bring a towel um, for the, the lake and the pool activities. That way, if that one gets dirty or, or something like that, they don't have to worry about having a clean shower that they can, a clean towel that they can shower with later that night. It's also important to remember to bring toiletry items. So toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, shampoo, deodorant. 
please don't forget the deodorant, guys. Um, those things are important to have because there aren't any there available for you. A big one is sunscreen. It's gonna be hot, we're gonna be spending time outside. I get sunburned really easily. We'll have some sunscreen available um, that will be available for everyone, but make sure that you also bring your own so that way you can have it anytime that your student needs it. Um, it's optional, but your student can bring some money, some spending money. They do have a snack shack, um, they have a gift shop. Um, I know the band and speakers often have merch like t-shirts and CDs and things like that that they sell. So um, it is not required, but if your student wants to bring a little spending money for those things, they are more than welcome to do so. Um, we are going to summer camp. We are going to be getting in a lake. We are going to be getting in the pool. So you do need to bring a swimsuit. Now for the girls, um, I would very much recommend a one-piece swimsuit. Um, in fact, if you all you have is a two-piece, they will require you to wear a cover-up, so a t-shirt over that with shorts at all times. Um, so a one-piece swimsuit is the way to go. Um, I also would recommend to the girls to wear some um, athletic shorts with their swimsuit, so that way when they're, they're walking around, they can, they can keep those um, shorts on. Uh, I think the camp also requires that they have a t-shirt on over their swimsuit when they're walking to and from the pool and lake locations. So a swimsuit, um, one-piece for the girls with some shorts to wear over that as well. And the last thing that you might want to bring are some water shoes or some sandals that can get wet. Um, this is an optional thing as well, but some students don't like swimming in the lake um, with their bare feet. They don't like walking kind of on the mud in the bottom. So if you have some, some shoes that can get wet, some water shoes or, or some sandals or things like that, um, that might be a thing that your student wants to bring um, as well. Now, we do have some rules for going to camp, and um, these are rules specific to us as a church. There will also be some rules that your students are given when they get to camp by the camp itself, but I just wanted to go over with these rules um, ahead of time. And the first one is this, is that there's, um, in our cabins, there's a main uh, central area, and then the guys stay in their own section of the cabin, and the girls stay in their own section of the cabin, and um, one of the rules we have is there are no guys allowed in the girls' section, no girls allowed in the guys' section, um, if that happens, we will send your student home at your expense. Um, so just make sure that they know guys stay in the guys' cabins, girls stay in the girls' cabins, and we won't have any problem with that. Um, second rule is no one's allowed to leave camp um, without permission. So um, if, if, your student, if you need to pick your student up early for an event or, or something like that, um, make sure that we know there's a form that you have to fill out. Um, otherwise, your student won't be allowed to leave camp um, even if you call or something like that, they, we still need that form filled out. Um, the next thing is there are certain items that are prohibited from camp. That includes obvious things like drugs and weapons, um, pornography, um, fireworks, um, things like that. Those are not allowed at camp. Do not bring them. Um, we reserve the right to inspect students' luggage. Um, I don't have, think we'll have a problem with that, but just be sure that your student doesn't bring any of those items. Um, cell phones are allowed at camp. We do want your student to be able to get in contact with you if they need to and vice versa if you need to get in contact with them. Um, the one guideline with the cell phones is that they must stay in the cabins at all times. So um, when we're out doing things during camp, when we're in sessions, when we're having free time, when we're out at the lake, when we're doing all of those things, those cell phones will be back in their cabins. So if um, there's an emergency and you need to get a hold of your student quickly, um, I'll have my cell phone on me at all times. Um, my cell phone number is 940-224-2720. You can call or text or, or email me anytime. Um, I'll try to keep my phone on me. The only time I won't have it on me is if I am swimming in the lake or in the pool, but I will be sure to check it right after that. Um, all other electronic devices, so Nintendo Switch, um, things like that, any gaming devices, those are not allowed at camp at all. Um, we're just going to ask that you leave those at home. One, because there's not going to be a time that you could use them, and two, I don't want them to get broken or stolen or left behind somewhere because um, I know those are expensive. So just leave all of the other electronic devices at home. Um, the next rule, and this is an important rule, is there's no PDA or public displays of affection. So your student's going to camp and and they're going with their boyfriend or their girlfriend, right? We're gonna make sure that they stay separate, that they're not gonna be holding hands, walking to sessions, that they're not gonna um, be doing anything like that. So, so please encourage your student that if they're going with someone that they kinda like, right, that they know that um, camp isn't the time for that um, and, and we need to really be focusing our, our time and energy on, on what God is doing in our lives. Um, if there's an accident, be sure your student knows to report that to me or one of the other leaders 
um, immediately. Um, we'll, we'll do everything we can to take care of them. Um, we'll, we'll let you know if anything happens as soon as we possibly can. And, and so um, just be aware that your student, um, if something happens, to let us know. Um, we'll have lights out every evening um, around midnight. Um, it's kind of flexible depending on the daily schedule, but um, when lights are out, lights are out. So we'll turn the lights off. Um, students need to be in bed. They need to be getting some sleep because the days are long and they will be tired. Um, so we will enforce lights out. The next rule is that uh, we don't allow any pranks at camp, so no shaving cream wars, nothing like that's going to go on at camp. And if the camp property is damaged by a student, you will be responsible for paying for that damage. So um, tell your students that um, no roughhousing, no, no pranks that could cause any damage like that. Um, we're there to have fun. We're, we're, we're going to have a good time. We're pretty relaxed, but um, nothing that's going to cause any damage or, or make a student feel um, like they're being bullied or anything like that. So, so no pranks um, at camp. And, and the last rule is this, is simply to show respect to all leaders um, that are at camp. That includes our leaders from our church and leaders um, from other churches and the camp itself. Um, if they ask you to do something, um, go out and do it. Um, be a leader there. And, and so just show respect to those who have given up their week to serve to your students. The last thing I wanted to do was go over the schedule with you, kind of give you a sample schedule of what the week is going to look like, um, and, and we'll kind of walk through that. On Tuesday, June 13th, we'll meet here at the church at 1.30. We'll meet on the south side of the building near the offices. Um, we'll go over all of this information again. I'll answer any questions that you have. Um, we'll make sure we have all of the, the paperwork turned in and everything that we need um, before we head out. Um, so that way you need, your student needs to eat lunch before we come because we are leaving at 1.30. So make sure your student has lunch before we come. Um, we'll arrive at Riverbend. We'll have a camp meeting. Um, we'll have dinner. Um, and then we have a dodgeball tournament Tuesday night. And, and we'll get your students and teens. And it's always a fun night um, playing some dodgeball. We have a session that night um, with our band and our speaker. And then we get some time to kind of talk as, as a church. We get to our own time to kind of discuss what went on that night. And um, then around midnight, we'll, we'll have lights out and that'll be our first night. The rest of the week, um, the schedule is pretty much the same. Um, then we'll have our morning celebration. It's kind of our morning rally where, where everyone at camp is together. Our band and our speaker will be there. And then um, around 10.30, we have either rec time or our breakout groups. Um, and, and they do both of those things every day. And so for rec time, they play games. Um, they have rec games. There's all sorts of different games they play. Last year, we had slip and slide, kickball. It was a blast. I had fun watching your students fall flat on their faces. It was great, right? It was a fun time. We have games like that. And then we also have breakout groups. So if, if our church is um, rec time in the morning, then right after lunch, we'll go to our breakout groups. If we're breakout groups in the morning, we will go to rec right after lunch. Um, after all of those things are, are concluded, uh, we'll have some free time. I think we get about two or three hours uh, of free time every, every day. And so that can be used on things like going to the blob, um, the zip line, um, the, the zip line into the water, the pool, um, gaga ball, nine square in the air, all of those things are available to your student during free time. Um, we'll have time to get cleaned up, we'll go have dinner, and then we'll have our evening session um, each night with our band and our speaker, and then each night we have a late night activity. So um, one of those will be our, our BMX and our uh, motocross stunt team that's going to be there. Um, another one of those nights is going to be an extended night of worship with our band where they're going to they're going to rock out for for a, basically a full concert. Um, and then the other night is kind of um, a surprise for our students. So it'll it'll be there announced when we get to camp on Saturday, the last day of camp. We'll, we'll wake up, we'll have breakfast, um, we'll clean up and pack up our rooms. We'll go have a, a closing session where they really encourage your students to take what they've learned and, and apply it to their lives after that. And um, then we'll leave camp around 10 o'clock, which puts us back here um, around 11.15 to 11.30 on Saturday morning. And so we'll be sure that we tell your students to, to text you and call you when we're leaving so you know what time to be here to pick them up on Saturday. Now, that's all the information I have for you. I know I went through that fast. So if there's anything that I missed or any other questions that you might have, again, feel free to give me an email. Um, I'll get back to you very quickly. I really do thank you for allowing your student to come to summer camp with us. I don't take that responsibility lightly, and I really am thankful for all the support that you give to me and our staff here at North Fort Worth Baptist Church. Thanks again.